the flamenco guitar of Juan Serrano. Juan, I'd like to welcome you to Soundboard. Thank you. Tell us about the techniques of flamenco guitar. It looks like a classical guitar, yes, <laughs> but there's, there are things that you're doing. You're hitting the top, you're holding the instrument differently. What's different about the technique? The technique, I think, that is um, very much the same, except to two of the techniques that we use in flamenco that I don't think anybody uses in classical. One mm -hmm. of them is the technique called rajeado, and the other one is the tremolo. The tremolo that we use are four not tremolo, and in classical, I know that we use three not tremolo. Uh, the reason for that was because many years ago, the rajeado technique, for example, was not well accepted in classical because, of course, the pieces don't require anything like that. In our day, how you know, even the classical pieces or the composers like Rodrigo and many other composers of our day, mm -hmm. they compose a theme for guitar and, of course, then write the rajeado. And even the classical have to learn how to play the rajeado. What happened a long time ago, we don't have any method to teach, and everybody learned in his own way. For mm. example, we pass flamenco from father to son. And now the rajeado technique, more the people than they don't have a good quality of the technique because they don't read any method. What then use the hand almost we back and forth, for example, then using this way. In this case, this is not correct, first of all, because you can break your fingernail and also for the rhythm time is very difficult to have a perfect time. The rajeado that I developed was everything done stroke. I start with mm. my index finger, pass to the leader. And of course, when you do that very slow, it's very even until it can very smooth. This is the kind of technique that is only in flamenco, even in how I say many classical use in our day. Yes. The, the other one is the tremolo. Tremolo in classical, you know, we use three not tremolo. I start with the thumb of coil, the bass. Later we start with the ring finger, middle eye, and this matter. In flamenco, we start with the index, and later back to the ring finger, middle, and repeat the index in this way. actually getting four in there. Exactly. Three. One ah, extra note. Could you do it in slow motion again yeah. and then speed up slowly? One, two, three, four. One, Why? Two, three, four. Ah. A little one is fat, coming beautiful. Mm. I use even classical pieces and I always use a four note tremolo. I like, I like both, but I prefer to use the four note tremolo. Mm, that's, a, that's a beautiful sound and it's certainly a sound that we always uh, think of flamenco guitar, the, the rasqueada together with the tremolo. And yet there's one more sound. You actually hit the top of your guitar, don't you? Yes. Uh, most of the time this represents the dancer. Mm. And long time ago the flamenco guitar was used only for a company song and dance. And of course, in our day, we play concert. Now, sometimes we don't have any dancer, we don't have any singer, and we have to produce every sound with the instrument. For example, to do only the tap, or, but to apply in between the melody is very hard. We have to put something in the end of the rajeado with the, with the last <laughs> note, and going, coming fast sometimes, if we use a technique like that. You see, we have the ascent one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. This is the rhythm yes. in three, four, or three, eight. This kind of technique really is very difficult, but it's only flamenco, classical, then don't use. First of all, mm. we have the little plastic over oh, here. I was going to say. <laughs> for the golpe. If we don't use it that, we can damage the guitar. So we if can tell all our enjoy... viewers at home that don't try this on your guitar. No, no, no. And, if unless... you don't enjoy it, you can break your guitar. <laughs> So you're actually going down, up with one finger, but down at the same time with the ring finger. Right, yes. right. Mm. Are we in the end? The song is beautiful when it's together. Oh, yes, yes. Now, when you're accompanying a, a full flamenco troupe of dancers and singers, do you still make the sound along yes. with the heels of the dancers? Yes, because mm. it's like some kind of percussion. Normally, we have also people that play parma, clapping the hand, or yes. Pitos, many different percussion instruments that we use, and of course, this is one of them. Mm -hmm. And make it beautiful rhythm and syncopation. Well, now, you learned your flamenco at the, at the knee of your father, I suppose, in, yes. in Córdoba? Yes. When did you come to this country? I came in this country in 1961, 
because Mr. Eddie Sullivan brought me from Spain. He saw me performing over there in one place called Corral de la Morería, and he asked me if I want coming over here, and I came. I played one show with him, and was so good success, that immediately I signed for one record company, and this record company was the Electra mm. record company, and my first recording was um, Ole La Mano, it was a big success, and I have right away offered for one very big agency. At this time, the name was Sol Europe. Oh, yes. One, yes. Of, one of the bigger agencies in this country. And I stay with him, and I start to tour around the world, and I decide to stay in the United States. <laughs> and now I know you live in Fresno, in Northern California. Yes. And there's a whole center of flamenco activity there, thanks to your, your activities. And you, in the meantime, recorded, what is it, over 20 records? Yes, yes. Just amazing. That's, uh, that's a lot of flamenco. Do you always play by yourself now? More the time, yeah, I play by myself. Sometimes I also perform like guest artist with some Hispanic dance group. Sometimes also I perform with another instrument, you know, another guitar, two guitar, for example, and piano. We make a sign arrangement. But I like keep in the tradition of the flamenco, play solo. Mm, the flamenco puro, as yes. it's known. And there's just a limited number of pieces, are there not? The forms are set but the rest of the, the creativity comes from you. There's a exactly. lot of Im improvisation that's involved. Exactly. That right? I see that you understand a lot about flamenco, because this is true. We don't have many different styles, uh, possibly maybe 20 different styles, but of course, uh, many people are confused because I'm recording a record. Um, one of the pieces that I'm recording is called Soleares. Mm -hmm. Later recording another, and I also call Soleares. They people say, oh, but I know already this one. It's the same. But of course, Soleares is only the style. The melody is completely different. This is why now we put first the title. Mm. For example, La Mesquita, a little entre parentheses, we say Soleare. It's in the Soleares style, but the melody, of course, is completely different. Is the style also the form? That the form. This is why you're talking, right. The oh, form. I see. I see. And do you compose the melodies yourself? Yes. Oh, it's marvelous. So th there's an old tradition and a very new tradition being made exactly. every time you play. Well, let's listen to more of the flamenco guitar of Juan Serrano. <laughs> 